Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. So in this video, we are going to discuss some more questions. That is, this is the part two of K2023 chemistry paper that we were discussing. So this is the first question. Arrange the correct order of CFSC for this is the general form of the complex that is given. M is what? M is the central metal ion. And water is what? Water is a weak ligand. We know that. So here all the complexes will be high spin. Okay, so let us first find out for Mn. Mn, what is the atomic number? Atomic number is 25. So electronic configuration is going to be Ar 3D5 4S2. Now we have to find out for Mn2 plus. Mn2 plus means we will remove two electrons from 4S. So this will be Ar 3D5. Here you can see there are six ligands. Six ligands means it is octahedral complex. So there will be two levels. One is lower level is T2G, higher level is EG. And how is the energy distribution? This is minus 0.4 delta O. And this is plus 0.6 delta O. So how do you fill the electrons? Five. So one, two, three. And it is high spin, so the energy difference is low, so we will fill the EG. Now we have to find out the CFSC. CFSC will be lower level, there are 3 electrons. So 3 into minus 0 0.4 plus higher energy level 2 into 0 0.6. So this is minus 1.2 plus 2 into 0 0.6 is 1.2. So this is going to be 0. Now let us find out for Mn3 plus. Mn3 plus will be Ar. Two electrons are removed from 4s one, and one electron from 3d. So 3d4. Okay, again it is an octahedral complex. So Eg, T2g. Okay, how many? How we will fill the electrons? The same way. One. 2, 3 and 4. CFSC is going to be lower energy level 3 into minus 0 0.4 plus 1 into 0 0.6. So this is going to be minus 1.2 plus 0 0.6. This is minus 0 0.6 delta naught. So this is very important. Now how do you compare the CFSC? When you compare, you don't have to consider this negative sign. Otherwise, you might think that here there is a negative sign. That means uh, according to the number line, you might think this is the lower value. So that is not going to be the case. You have to only compare the magnitude. So CFSE of what is the correct answer? CFSE of here it is 0, here it is 0 0.6. So CFSE of Mn3 plus is greater than CFSE of Mn2 plus. Okay, so similarly, now we can find out for iron. Okay, similarly, we can find out for iron now. Okay, so now this was Mn3 plus greater than Mn2 plus. Now iron, what is the atomic number? 26. So electronic configuration is going to be Ar 3D6 4S2. So Fe2 plus will be Ar. We are removing these two electrons. So Ar 3D6. 3D6, again it is an octahedral complex. So T2G and Eg. This is T2G, EG. Let us fill the electrons. D6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. CFSC will be T2G. There are 5 electrons. So 5 into minus 0 0.4 plus EG level there is 2 into 0 0.6. So this is going to be minus 2.0, 5 fours are 20. So minus 2.0 plus 1.2. This is going to be minus 0 0.8 delta naught. Now we can find out for Fe3 plus. Fe3 plus will be Ar. 
three electrons. Two electrons are removed from four s. One electron from three d. So this is three d five. E.g. T two g. One, two, three, four, and five. TFSC will be in T two g. There are three electrons. Three into minus point four plus two into zero point six. Minus one point two plus two into point six is one point two. This will be zero. So again, here we will com compare the magnitude. So this is point eight is greater than zero. So Fe two plus is greater than Fe three plus. So this this is the correct order of TFSC. Now let us see the next question. This is catalyst used for the reaction is. So first of all, you have to identify this is which reaction. Here you can see there are two terminal alkenes that are combining to form a double bond, and C2H4 is released. What is C2H4? An alkene is released. So this is which reaction? Here there is ring closing. So this is called as ring closing metathesis. Okay, you just the thing was you have to identify the Reaction, which is the reaction, and among the four options, which was the correct option? The correct option was I'll draw the structure: rubidium double bond (PH). Here we have PCY3, PCY3, Cl. On the wedge there is Cl, and PCY3. This is the correct answer. This is which catalyst? This is called as Grubbs catalyst. Okay, Grubbs catalyst is used for any metathesis reaction, whether it is ring ring closing metathesis or ring opening metathesis. Okay, so this was the correct option. That is the Grubbs catalyst. Now let us see the next one. Metal ions used in Wacker's oxidation are. Now for Wacker's oxidation, there are two things. Uh, what what is first? Let us see what is Wacker's oxidation. What happens in Wacker's oxidation? Alkene is converted to ketone. Okay, and there are two things in this. One is called as the. One is a catalyst. And another is the co-catalyst. Okay, this was a repeated question. In previous year, they had directly asked the ions, okay, the catalyst and co-catalyst. But here, what they have asked, they have asked the ions. Okay, catalyst is what? Catalyst is PdCl2 is used, or complex is used PdCl4 two minus. Okay, if I find out the oxidation state of palladium, let's say it is X. Plus four into Cl is minus one, which is equal to minus two. X minus four is minus two, so X is equal to four minus two, which is equal to two. So one ion that is used is the palladium two ion. And what is the co-catalyst? Co-catalyst is cupric chloride CuCl two. Okay, so what is the other ion? Other ion is Cu two plus. So this this is the correct answer. That is palladium two plus and copper two ions are used in Wacker's oxidation. Let us see this reaction now. This is what this is cyclopentadiene ring. Cyclopentadiene ring. Two rings are present and nickel. This compound is called as what? This is a type of metallocene. Where there are two rings that are attached. Okay, this is these are also called as sandwich compounds. Why they are called as sandwich compounds? We will see in a minute. Okay, so this is a sandwich compound of nickel, so it is called as nickelocene. And sodium and mercury. This is what this is a source of electrons. So what will happen? What is the initial structure? Initial structure is this is one cyclopentadiene ring attached to nickel, and there is another cyclopentadiene ring like this. You can see this nickel is like a sandwich 
between two bread slices here you can imagine bread slices as this cyclopentadienyl or cp ring what is the charge of cp cp charge is minus okay so what is the main point here is first we have to count the total electrons total valence electron count we have to find out okay this is what this is for both the rings eta or hapticity it is what it is 5 what is the meaning of hapticity the number of atoms that are in contact with the metal ion 5 atoms so hapticity is 5 and total electrons donated by cp ligand is same as the hapticity 5 plus nickel nickel has how many valence electron it belongs to atomic number is 28 AR 3D8 4S2. So, how many? Total 10 valence electron plus another CP ring 5. So, total there are how many? 20 electrons. So, this is not stable. We know that 18 electron complexes are stable. So, what happens in this reaction is the hepticity of both the rings. Initially, it was eta 5 and eta 5. It will change such that we get 18 electrons so how uh, we can get 18 electrons let us see that nickel okay so what i can do i can change the hepticity of one ring to one two three one ring can be eta three cp Okay, so hapticity is 3 and another ring I can take all the 5 electrons that is I will keep the hapticity as 5, 5 CP and nickel. Okay, so this was a correct option. Instead of CP they had written C5H5, C5, eta 5, C5H5 nickel this is the correct answer there were two more options where they had made they changed the number of carbon atoms c7 that is absolutely not correct okay and why this product is stable again if we count the total valence electron it is going to be eta 3 so 3 plus nickel 10 plus this is eta 5 so 5 10 plus 3 13 plus 5 now there is 18 electrons so that is why this is stable now let us see the next question magnetic moment of cerium no3 minus no3 phi 2 minus is what so now how do you find out the magnetic moment of these f block elements we use we use the which formula we use we, you, we use this formula mu is equal to g into root of j into j plus 1 Okay, mu is the magnetic moment and uh, what is the formula for g g is 3 by 2 plus s into s plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 divided by 2j into j plus 1 now how do you find out the value of first we have to find out the value of s l and j and then we have to substitute the value of g into this formula Okay, for finding out let us first write the electronic configuration of cerium for that we have to find out the oxidation state of cerium if this is x plus 5 into this is which ion this is nitrate ion so charge is minus 1 x minus 5 is equal to minus 2 x is equal to 5 minus 2 that is 3 okay so x is 3 that is oxidation state is 3 and cerium 3 plus what is the electronic configuration it is xenon 4f1 we wanted only the f electron there is only one f electron available here okay so how do you write down the electronic configuration f orbital there are seven orbitals one two three four five six and seven plus three plus two plus one zero minus one minus two minus three only one electron will be filled here. Now we have to calculate what? We have to calculate the L value. L value is what? 
it is this value 3 into 1 electron l is 3 spin is how much half into 1 electron that is half and j how do you find out the value of j there are two ways one is l minus s l plus s this is for less than half filled configuration less than half filled this is more than half filled okay for 7 half filled means there should be f7 here there is f1 which means there is less than half filled so which formula we will be using we will be using this formula and not this so what will be the value of j l minus s l is 3 minus s is half 3 minus half is 5 by 2 or 2.5 okay s i can write it as 0.5 now we have to just substitute all the values and find out the answer g is equal to 3 by 2 plus s is 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 plus 1 is 1.5 minus l is 3 3 into 3 plus 1 is 4 divided by 2 j value is 2.5 into 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5 this when you calculate g value comes out to be 0.857 okay now we can calculate the value of mu 0.857 into root of j is 2.5 into 2.5 plus 1 is 3.5 this when you solve the final answer comes out to be 2.544 magneton a unit is bore magneton so this is going to be the final option final answer it was a nat uh, nat type of question so you will type two point it was up to two decimal places so 2.54 so i will end this here and we will discuss some more questions in the next video thank you so much